Amos Edward Joel Jr. is known as the father of switching. He invented the electronic switching device that allowed phone users to move from one cell area to another without losing their connection. He was born on March 12, 1918 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, you know, I was always interested ever, as far back as I can remember as a kid uh, uh, with things mechanical and electrical. And then that was really what got me into this business, was uh, the curiosity of how, how the dial telephone system worked. He started reading patents at the age of 13. I wrote to AT&T about a newer system that I had heard that they were working on. And I got a letter back from a gentleman who I later met. But he said, well, this stuff is all covered by patent. So I looked into it and found you could buy a copy of the patent. And I, oh, this was great. I mean, this was <laughs> just what I wanted because it showed some actual circuits of things. Mm -hmm. He obtained a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering and Master of Science in Electrical Engineering from MIT in 1940 and 1942, respectively. You know, I heard enough about MIT to feel that, you know, I would like to go to MIT. I guess the biggest worry at that time was whether my father would be able to afford it or not. In my first date with my wife, they had an open house. You could bring, um, you know, your lady friends up to your room. And so she came up and uh, the first thing I did was I pulled out one of these patent drawings and they're tremendous. I mean, they're like 50 or 60 sheets. And I explained to her that it took like an hour or so, but I took, went through all this business. I said, it's all that to give you dial tone in this latest type of switching system. She went home and told her father that I was crazy. He spent his entire professional career from July 1940 to March 1983 with Bell Telephone Laboratories. I knew all these patents and things. I see most of the things that really have interest in the real advances in, in switching seem to be coming out of Bell Laboratories. Mm -hmm. So that's where I went to work. At Bell, Joel was eventually assigned to crossbar systems testing, where he was testing the switching system Bell Labs had designed. I really had a feel now for what these uh, circuits that I only knew on paper, you know, mm -hmm. were actually like. During World War II, Joel designed early general purpose digital computers and cryptanalysis machines. British computer pioneer Alan Turing incorporated some of Joel's ideas into the digital computer Colossus which helped crack Nazi codes. Joel and his colleagues at Bell also designed a scrambler codenamed Sigcelli, which allowed Winston Churchill in London to have vital encrypted conversations with Franklin D. Roosevelt in Washington. Following the war, he conceived and taught the first course on switching systems and circuit design, and went on to design the first automatic telephone billing equipment, or AMA. This system allowed calls to be billed automatically which reduced cost and fraud. The first wireless handsets relied on a single base tower, linked up with the landline system, and had limited range. Wireless phones would eventually work on the move, as a result of the technology detailed in Amos Joel's invention of 1972. U.S. patent number 3663762, titled Mobile Communication System. I knew that the uh, people were starting to think about this um, cellular uh, concept on mobile radio. And I realized when I saw the work they were doing you know, on the radio in, that sooner or later it would involve some switching. So I started working with some of those people, saying, you know, what I thought should have for switching. Uh, and, and I, um, as a result, came up with the first ideas as to how you'd build the switching mm -hmm. part of the cellular mobile. System. Bell Labs initially hoped Joel's breakthrough might lead to 200,000 mobile phone users worldwide, something of an underestimate given the 6 billion users today. Amos Joel was married to Rhoda Fenton Joel for 58 years and had three children, Jeffrey, Andrea, and Stephanie. He had a special place in his heart for children and used to participate in science fairs to encourage young people to get excited about science. His non-professional interests later in life included music, playing electronic instruments, computers, and railroading. More than 70 U.S. patents have been issued for Amos Joel's work. He authored and co-authored several books and numerous papers on switching. He was the recipient or co-recipient of numerous awards, including the IEEE Medal of Honor in 1992 for fundamental contributions to and leadership in telecommunications switching systems and the National Medal of Technology by President Bill Clinton in 1993.